Okay, kindergarten, we are doing a lemon still life. And we have just discussed and looked at other still life paintings with lemons, and we've learned the definition of still life. So we're gonna be creating our own. Now, when you get your white piece of paper, check, it needs to be horizontal, that's side to side. Horizontal, side to side. Now, the supply manager has different things sitting in front of them. Please be aware, you need to listen to what you will be touching. We are starting with our pencil. Um, manager just needs to hand you a pencil. So once you get your pencil, the first thing we're all going to do is write our name. Now remember, I am Miss Lawson. You need to write your name and your teacher's code. You'll have a different teacher's code. That's gonna go right underneath your name. Once you have your name, pencil goes back to your pencil cup and the supply manager will put that off to the side. Once you do that, you're gonna take your paper when you get to your table and you're going to flip it. I should see nothing written on this side. This is the side we're going to draw on. Now the permanent marker. Now, if you don't know what a permanent marker is, it needs to be taken care of. You don't draw on your skin or your shirt or your hair on my table. These types of markers do not come out. They do not come out of your clothes. It takes a long time to wash off your hands. So you wanna make sure that you use them responsibly. The supply manager is going to keep one lemon and pass the other to someone at their table. Now, when we use something like this to trace, you gotta be careful because my other hand has to hold this little guy down because this hand's gonna be using the marker. So I take my lemon, I do not want to put it in the middle. Watch, after I put it in the middle, I need to move it over. Is it way up here? Nope. Is it way to the bottom of the paper? Nope. Is it on to the side? Nope, it's moved in just a little bit. Now, my permanent marker has a hat. Take his hat off. Don't lose it, you're gonna put the hat on the back of him. Put your marker in the hand you draw with. This other hand has to hold the lemon down. And we're gonna trace it on the white paper. Don't trace the lemon, tracing it on the white paper. So I need to make sure as I trace it, I am tracing it on to the white paper all the way around, holding that lemon down. So when I pick it up off this paper, guess what I should see? A lemon. Now we're gonna do this thing called overlapping. It is a very difficult concept because we want one lemon, which is this one, to see the whole lemon. The second lemon, we can't see the whole lemon. It is going to hide behind the other one. So when I lay my lemon down, do you see this part that is inside the lemon? I don't want to trace this part. Nope, I don't wanna do it. I'm gonna hold it down with my other hand and I'm going to start where this lemon starts, right where that line is. And I'm going to trace all the way on the outside and stop where that lemon is. So when I move it, oh, the other lemon is hiding behind. Again, did I trace on the inside here? Nope. I start where this line is, I trace on the outside, and then when I come to the lemon, I stop. Again, you start where the lemon is, trace on the outside, and stop. So make sure that you have one lemon that's full and the other limb is hiding behind it. Now we share these, so I need to pass it to someone else. And now we have to add the table, because right now our lemons are floating. We don't want floating lemons. So I start over here where this lemon is, and I'm gonna draw a straight line going all the way to the side of the paper. Make sure it's touching the side. Now, do I wanna go straight across my lemons? No, I've gotta jump over and come over here and finish the line. So now my two lemons are sitting on a table. 
Now, remember, we took that hat, we put it on the back. So take the hat off, put it over its little hair, listen for the snap, and then your lemons and your markers are going back in your basket. Art is going to go in your colored folder. Remember, that's the Masterpiece Manager. They're gonna collect these, and then I will call for the colored folders to be brought up to my box. Around it, that is the wall. So we're gonna be painting a color at the top and a color at the bottom. If you look at your tray, you're gonna see five colors. We have white, yellow, blue, brown, and gray. So you need to make sure that you know what color is going where on your painting. So your masterpiece manager will be opening the folder and you're gonna make sure you check the back because there is a name. Every student has a name. Give them their lemon still life and then you will return the folder to me in my box today. We're going to start with our lemon. This is going to be yellow. So I'm gonna get my paintbrush. I'm gonna go straight over to the yellow, dip down and up, and then come to my lemon. Now just because there's two of them does not mean I just wanna start painting straight across. I'm gonna stay inside the first lemon. I don't wanna paint over the black line, and I'm mixing it in, a little more yellow. I'm staying in this first lemon. I don't want to go over into the other lemon. Once I've got that lemon, then I can move over to this one. Again, don't paint over that black line. Keep the first thing we're doing is using yellow to paint the lemons. Now I am done with yellow, so I need to to the table in my picture, not the table that we're putting our paper on. This is the line that goes down and around. So for the table, we're gonna use the brown. So make sure that you dip into the brown and you're gonna be painting from that line down and around. We don't wanna go into the lemons. We don't wanna go above the line but want to spread the brown paint all the way to the corners. Now, I'm gonna go as close as, notice how slow I go as I work myself around the lemon. I don't wanna go inside of it, smear it around. staying under that line all the way to the corners. We don't wanna leave any space on there. So there is my table that the lemons are sitting on. We are done with the browns. Okay, now we are back. We are gonna be painting the other parts of our lemon still life because we have the top part to paint which is the wall the background so we're going to be going to the blue so make sure you dip into the blue and you're going to be painting the top portion of your lemon still life again just like i was doing in the with the brown you want to go slow as you go around your lemons and the table because if we get blue into the yellow, it's gonna make a new color. Blue and yellow mixed together make green. Finished with the blue, so. Depending on how wet your table is, meaning the brown part of your paper, will depend if we move on, if we have time. If we have time, we're gonna be adding the highlight and the shadow to our lemon still life. Now, the highlight is what we're gonna be using the white for. So the white, we'll start with. This is this the light shining on our lemon. So when we go to our lemon, 
we're going to be adding a little white highlight, a little curve to the left of both your lemons. Not a whole section, we're not painting the whole lemon, just a little curved spot of white. Now we're going to be adding the shadow. If you remember, the light is on one side, which means on the opposite, we're going to find a shadow. Now we don't want to put the shadow on the lemon. We want to put it on the table of the lemon where the lemon sit. Again, here's your light, which means your shadow. That is what the gray is for, way back here. So we're going to get a little gray. And again, the shadow is going on the table not on the other lemon. So you can tell I painted in that little spot in between my lemons and then over here, another little triangle. I don't know if you can tell, it's that little triangle in between your two lemons and then the little triangle where the table and the lemon meet right there. That is what you're doing for the shadow in your gray paint. That's the last part.